Yo, what's going on YouTube? Um, you have to explain to young black men that the whole drug game is not that profitable. Um, I had a student who told me, yo, he's probably going to drop out and sell drugs. And this just happened about a week ago. Um, he wasn't even my student. But, you know, he said, I don't know, if I get kicked out again, I'll probably just not go back and sell drugs. Because um, my cousins are doing it, you know, and my brother's doing it. And I told him um, that the whole idea of being this drug kingpin um, is a myth, right? I, I never understood how the black community, especially the rappers, would glorify selling drugs. And at the end of the day, the person selling the drugs is at the bottom of the totem pole. The whole idea of even, you know, being in the drugs game is to be a distributor and not really get your hands dirty. Have other people sell for you. So when I hear people talk about how good they were at selling drugs, I'm like, yo, you're like a minimum wage employee, right? Um, you're the guy who goes to jail and you take the hit, right? Um... You know, the dudes talking about stop snitching, right? Are the dudes that, yo, aren't trying to go to jail for you, you know, getting on them, right? They want to continue to make money off of other people just like you. Um, but that's a whole different debate in itself. But, um, you know, I let them know it's a high risk, low reward um, activity. You know, some people want to act like it's a high risk, high reward but not really. You have to really sell a lot of drugs to really turn any of substantial profit, right? The whole Rick Ross, I'm dumping out duffel bags full of money is a myth. Really, it's a myth. Um, so if you see, I don't know, maybe a group of men who, I don't know, have come up on a lot of money, um, best believe they're selling a lot of drugs. Um, and best believe they're so you know, knee deep in the game that they really can't get out. Um, I've talked to friends who from Oakland and you know my buddy was talking about how yeah he had you know a lot of good friends caught up in a drug game and they want to get out but they're so knee deep into the drug game they've already made so much money based off of years and years of work that it is unsafe for them to get out. Right? Their families their own livelihood, their own personal safety is predicated on them staying in the game. How, you know, how crazy is that? How sick is that? So I was telling this boy this, right? I was telling him what was going on. I was also telling him that a lot of the cars that you see, you know, the, the Chrysler 300s and all that other good stuff, those cars weren't bought off drug money. Those cars were bought because the dude either used his grandmama's credit his girl's credit or his mother's credit right um, you know he didn't go to the the dealership and slap I don't know how much 300 cost 12,000 um, you know he didn't go slap $12,000 in cash and say yo give me a damn car it didn't happen like that um, I was letting this boy know that you can't go to the bank and you can't make certain transactions over a certain amount in cash and I forgot what it is for California I think my uncle told me was it 10,000 I forgot but there's a certain limit that you can't pay in cash so you can't go pay for something twenty thousand dollars in cash right it doesn't happen that way um, and you really can't deposit it in the bank right I was letting them know that yo why are drug dealers so flashy well that's pretty much all they can do you right you know don't buy into this whole myth of the black man selling drugs then moving off to the suburbs you know when you know taking his whole family his girl you know like we see in the rap videos it doesn't happen you can't go buy a house with a duffel bag filled with money it doesn't happen like that um, if you try to deposit something in the if you try to take cash to the bank right let's say you have five thousand dollars and you take it to the bank um, more than likely um, you're probably gonna get flagged in terms of where did this money come from right so they already have your identification whether it's your you know fingerprint or your 
social security so they're going to run your background to see yo is this person working where did this five thousand dollars come from especially if you're a minority i don't care what bank you go to you're going to be flagged um really you are where did this money come from can you prove that this money is legit that's why you have the whole idea with uh money laundering in terms of the italians you just can't show up and deposit thousands of dollars you know at your own leisure it doesn't happen like that so they're going to flag you see where this money is coming from they may even freeze the account right they may do something to you know clarify where you got this they're gonna look at you know your relatives is anybody in your family doing anything where you can be coming to the bank to deposit five thousand six thousand dollars just straight in cash right are you doing anything no so what's gonna happen you have the stash house right you have the safe that's always you know getting broken into um, you know everybody knows you know everybody needs to have a stash house if he's selling drugs so some people don't even you know they don't sell drugs they just rob the stash house so I'm telling this kid all this and he's like wow I didn't know you knew so much and I'm like yo I was in the same position you were you know I never really thought about selling drugs to be honest I didn't grow up like that but I had a lo close friends who thought it was cool you know so I was breaking this dude off and it really made sense to him and I realized for the first time in that kid's life no one ever told him this no one ever told him how the drug game works um, and how you know in terms of how it works in reality and how it works on TV um, you know and after we had the conversation um, a lot of stuff made more sense to him um, I don't know he wasn't my student so I don't know if he's gonna change his life around you know he was he's graduating going on to high school but hopefully it's stuck so hopefully you know he can see stuff for himself he you can see all the other low-end drug dealers um, you know getting arrested for off of some bullshit not really making any money um, you can see that the dudes driving the 300 you right you know got the car from their girl or got it from the grandma or the mom so hopefully he can open up his eyes to see what's going on um, so I don't know I forgot to share this story, so, you know, I'm doing this video now. So, anyways, take it easy. God bless.